my name is Justina. I am from Hong Kong. I am Hong Kong. Hi, I'm Iris. I'm from Taiwan. I am Taiwan. Hi, my name is Mika and I'm 15 years old from Japan. I am 14 years old and I'm turning 15 this year. I am currently 15 years old and most important of all, I'm a Lafarian. I'm also a Lafarian. Uh, and I'm a Lafarian. As a Lafarian, Nalia is our god. Nalia is in a fairy form. She focuses on nature, living creatures. I mean, she looks after all living creatures. Nalia interacts with the moral world or communicates with the moral world through its spirit animals, um, the Cleone and the Capybara. For humans, we really want to become angels. That is literally our goal. Angels get to do whatever they like as long as it doesn't go against Nalia. Being an angel literally means having superpowers. For us Lafarians, we do have six important moral codes. To preserve nature and also at the same time respect Nelia and its spare animals, again the capybara and the cleone, is considered really important. Always do your best, and originality should be prioritized. Lafarian tried other the way you want to be treated and be responsible for your actions. We convey our hopes, desires, and questions to Nalia through praying. For us, praying isn't a ritual. It's a way how we can get support and guidance from Nalia. To pray, we get into like a seesaw position, like this, and then we just think about our hopes, desires, dreams, concerns, questions, all of that, or whatever you want to talk to Nalia about, like, just think about it. You can also like, pray out loud, it just depends on personal preference. After we finish the praying though, we end with like a bow. Or, for energetic people like me, we do a jump. <laughs> Tulip flowers is actually one of the sacred objects in the Fira. It's those spring flowers with cupped shaped petals. It's really pretty and it also has many different colors. One object that a sacred Lafiria is rainy days, I think. Because rainy day is more clearly appear the world to protect humans. So voting well for Lafirians. So tulip stamp is also a sacred object in Lafiria. It looks like this. So there's a tulip flowers in the middle. And it's really pretty, and it represents a blessing from Nalia in a physical form. My favorite Lefirian's code object is celebration of Nalia's birthday. On this day, Lefirian celebrates Nalia's birthday by creating flower crown with tulip. Um, this is a community celebration, so the flowers are free to create the flower crown with the people who are close to them. We also have like a ritual for death. So when a person dies, we have them near the sea or a cup of sea water would do. And we play a song. It sounds like this. Yeah, it sounds like that. And it is our song for death. It is represents um, our last goodbye to the person. And at the same time, through like the seawater and the song, it notifies the Cleone to pick up the soul. Like somebody's died, it guide the soul to an angel of decision. Yeah. And oh, we can also sing along while the song's being played. It's, it's our last goodbye. And also a blessing for a start of a new year. So in every January, we must go to the church to receive the tulip stamp onto the back of our neck, like right here and it represents blessing from Nalia for another good year. And the other thing I like it is baby blessing. A tulip is given to the baby and stay at the baby's side for one full day to ensure that the blessing from Nalia stay with the baby. So what happens after we die? After we die, as mentioned previously, a Cleone brings like 
our soul to an uh, angel of decision. Um, and these, like the first 10 days in which we die, we are unconscious. We don't know what's happening around us. In these 10 days, the angel of decision will create a report, a summary of our life, and send it to Nalia. Nalia will then look at our report and determine our fate. So there are mainly two pathways, I have to say, of after death. So one, you did like really well in your life and you followed a lot of moral codes. Nalia thinks you totally deserved it. So you reincarnate into an angel. And that's literally our goal. Angels get to do whatever they like. Again, superpowers. And then um, if you were to say like you didn't do good enough or um, you just didn't live your life as a good person, Nalia would then like have you go back to the moral reincarnate as like a human again and with worse conditions like worse living conditions either like the same living conditions or worse um sometimes though yeah sometimes if you were like not good enough to be an angel but you still did like pretty good you get a reincarnate into like a better living condition but that just depends angels are basically guardians of like the humans who live in our world and as an angel you get powers as mentioned before and you get to lead like a human to do to follow the moral codes and if the human becomes like better and better your power increases but being an angel doesn't mean that you will always stay an angel if you were to like go against Nalia or come become like um, against the moral codes you would be sent back down to like the human world and yeah so you try to keep your life as an angel and you also try to be an angel um there's also angels of decision as mentioned in the, like what happens after death angels of decision are like angels that are righteous enough for like the god like Nalia to appoint you as this important position it is like an honor to be an angel of decision that doesn't mean you have to work all the time though it's just like sometimes the view of the world i think uh the videos uh put in effort on in everything everyone is equal humans plants animals we are connected as a whole and we affect each other Lefirians are like, um, yeah, Lefirians, people who believe in Lefiria are basically your second family. You can always rely on them, they're like always there for you. There's like, they're just like family.